Hello everyone, welcome to Gospel Bearworks. My name is James. Today we're doing another uh, locomotive review just so I can keep up with everything. Uh, today I'll be doing the Backman N scale Percy, and um, here he is. The tiny little small engine that he is. Uh, but uh, let's quickly do the boring stuff. Uh, also, in this review, I'll also be doing the uh, troublesome trucks. Uh, there is actually only two types of troublesome trucks, but I accidentally bought uh, two of the same ones, so um, yeah. Bit of troublesome, that bit was. Um, anyway, product uh, codes and all that lot. Percy, the small engine, item number 58792. Troublesome truck number one, uh, which is that one. Uh, item number is 77096. And troublesome truck number two, it's this one, is 77097. Uh, normally you don't get much in the boxes uh, other than on the back you just have this normal basic stuff uh, this is based off the CGI era of uh, Thomas the Tank but uh, normally you don't get much inside the box uh, in Percy you do get a bit more which is over here the paperwork uh, this is the warranty which we won't read a bit of leaflet which we won't read because I don't read any of that lot and here we have the instruction leaflet it has all the information about running in and duplication and all that other lot and also has the exploded diagram now one thing which i have noticed uh with this this one and also uh thomas is i think there's actually a flywheel inside these things i'm not too sure. have a quick zoom in that piece looks vaguely like a f little flywheel not too sure but um, it does explain why they are very nice runners anyway let's have a quick look at Percy who it's very small so I zoom in there we go and he's got his nice little happy face on he's painted in his nice lovely green uh, livery with red lining somewhat like a very small uh, red, green and red caterpillar as he's frequently uh, referred to. Uh, there's no interior detail because there is no interior. Uh, he's got uh, NEM pockets either end as I found out on Thomas. Uh, he's reasonably heavy for his size. Uh, he has got um, you know, his uh, front light here and also his back light here which um, is somewhat a little bit small but never mind. Uh, coal is a little bit plasticky but it is meant to be a more child friendly model so plastic all the way uh, i have from opening up thomas i do know that all the weight was in the inside because there's a uh, there'll be a large weight on the inside probably roughly around here very concerned that he's quite chunky it might be a bit distributed a bit more evenly but uh, his uh, coupling rods are all metal which are quite nice uh, let's see he's also got vacuum pipes front and back uh, he has got, I don't want to say they're separately fitted, but they are a bit more separate than Thomas's. Uh, these are his whistles, the safety, I don't know, it's not a safety valve. His dome is painted in bronze or brass, and there's the filler cap on the top there. And he has got a few little bits of detail here and there as well, being the um, lamp brackets and stuff like that. On the back it's a bit more basic, and also he has got uh, a coupling hook on the back which doesn't really work at this scale but uh, yeah for what detail what detail he does have it's well made but otherwise it's fairly basic just to keep things you know, safe for children and a bit more durable I'll have a quick look at one of the actually we'll have a look at both two of the uh, troublesome trucks now ooh, make sure it's all in focus now they are the same moulding other than the faces, so here's the two different faces. Yep, that's it. And um, yeah, it's just the usual plastic, uh, no, backman wagon really. Uh, strange enough, they do have NEM pockets, which is very strange for uh, wagons because they don't normally have NEM pockets. Uh, the under, no, the framing and brake underneath the wagons all there. A bit more thicker than normal but it's meant to be durable and does have metal wheels which is always nice have a quick look at how much they weigh so I'll zoom out 
Right, and check how much Percy weighs. And he weighs 27.8 grams, so he's a bit lighter than Thomas. And troubles from truck number uh, one, I think. Uh, 5.6. And also troubles from truck number two. 5.6, so they're quite light as well. So, don't want to couple, but it is a troublesome truck, so uh, it's to be expected. But, um, I have found out you can DCC these, uh, you do need to do it hard wire, but there is enough space to get a very small decoder on the inside, as I found on Thomas. I haven't decoded them yet, but it is possible. You might need someone like a, uh, what was it, a lens silver mini or silver uh, or a gold mini something like that but it is possible so uh, very nice they have thought about this so even though they haven't got a socket for it there is space on the inside to fit one uh well, fit a hardwired one so uh yeah i'm gonna pop him uh, just also mention he has got a little bit of detail here which is a spring of some sort but uh yeah i'm gonna stuff him on stuff him pop them on the uh, turntable, spin them around so you can have a quick good look at them and also tell you a bit more about Percy in the meantime as well. Anyway, let's see you in a sec. Percy for small engine is an anthropomorphic 040 saddle tank engine from Reverend Audrey's Ferrari series. He is painted light green with red stripes with a number 6 on his coal bunker. He is a cheeky little engine with a strong sense of adventure, a high work rate and who doesn't let anyone else push him around, which sometimes gets him into trouble. He arrived on Sodor sometime before the 1935 during a railway strike. Audrey and the third illustrator of the railway series, Clarence Reginald Delby, did not get along very well. Audrey considered Delby's drawings toy-like. This relationship was worsened by the creation of Percy, who was depicted as an Avonside 040 mixed with a, a GWR 1340 Trojan with a bunker. When Percy the Small Engine was published, Audrey wrote to Derby, criticising his illustrations and claimed Percy resembled a green caterpillar with red stripes. This was too much for Derby and he promptly resigned, however, the insult was not forgotten. Thomas called Percy a green caterpillar with red stripes in the tramway the engines as well as the televised episode Woolly Bear. Audrey's model of Percy was kit bashed from a Larco Darkside saddle tank body kit and spare Percy from a Triang Nelly. Percy has been replicated during the day out with Thomas days on Heritage Railways using small industrial saddle tanks although not all were O4Os. Right, here we are with Percy on the layout. I've also got my test rake all set up, and I've also got his troubles from trucks all here. So, uh, yeah, here we are with him all uh, on the layout. So, I'm just going to see how well his slow speed is. And I stalled him. <laughs> Always seem to stall engines. And I have remembered from last time to make sure you can see his wheels quite quite well. And he's sat on Yeah, he does seem to have a very nice slow speed. But like I said, I think there may be a flywheel inside him. That's a very nice slow speed. And this is on DC. And I stalled. Anyway, let's see him. Let's see him go around for loud. A nice gentle speed. These are geared fairly slow uh, to the low speed, so you wouldn't be going as fast as some other locos go. And there he is. <laughs> Always get worried when they don't reappear. It's 
see how well he gets past us. Yeah, he seems to be fine doing that. So uh, yeah, let's couple him up to his. Don't turn that off. Let's couple him up to his uh, troublesome trucks. There's one. Ooh. Two falling off because it is a troublesome truck, so that should be normal. And there's three. And off he goes. Now, if he's anything like Thomas, he shouldn't really, well, he'll be able to pull eight coaches, but he will have a little bit of a problem. But considering that he is a 0407060, he may have a bit more of a trouble with these coaches than Thomas would. And here he comes. Fortunately, there is no brake van, so he's just going to have to be a bit careful of him. I could probably just get a brake van and stuff it on there, but. Uh, no. And uh, yeah, he seems quite happy doing that. So uh, yeah, let's test him with test rake. We're also going to get these troublesome trucks out of the way. So you can see a nice view of his wheels when he's going around with coaches. So uh, yeah, he was uh, 27.8 if I remember right. So he's a little bit heavier than each of these wagons. But uh, you should be able to pull them. And he can pull them. Uh, let's see if these coaches slow down when it goes up a slight incline. And it does sound like he's slowing down a bit, but he's still going, and he's slowly making it out the other side. <laughs> so yes, he can pull eight coaches round my layout, even with that slight incline. So I'm going to say he's probably a little bit less powerful than Thomas, which is which isn't all that bad. He is a smaller loco, but I say that he's actually about the same size as Thomas. So uh, yeah, I'm going to bring him to a stop and give him a break. Actually, I should probably uh, done a quick view of quick view of his uh, wheels going around. I know it's going backwards, but uh, never mind. <laughs> And get off. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna connect him up to his troublesome trucks again because he seems to prefer them. I'm gonna say probably. Well, I think Thomas was probably about six or five, something like that. So Percy, maybe one less. This is uh, this rake is nearly twice his own. Uh, not not twice, uh, nearly ten times his own weight. Uh, is each of these is 25 grams, so yeah, I'll say probably about four or five, which is probably a bit more reasonable for him. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna ooh, send him on his way. And we'll see him with. And we'll quickly see him on the other side in a bit. And probably get a high view angle. Very nice like how he is. And he performs extremely well. such a small engine so 
Yeah. yeah. It's been Percy, and it's Troublesome Chunks, and it's also been James from Gospel Fireworks, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So, I hope to see you again next time. Please feel free to subscribe, like, and f also comment on the video. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to let Percy run around for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you again next time. Take care now. Bye-bye. I'll just wait till he disappears beyond houses.